Hey everyone! Alright, so this time around I've got something exciting for you that I received for Easter. Y'all bugged me a long time ago to do a photo mosaic puzzle and I am so excited to say that today I have a nice new one to be able to tackle for you guys. Yay! Finally! Alright, so this puzzle is pretty interesting for those of you that don't know already. I've got a few things to say about it before we dive right into it. So let's get into that. <laughs> Hey everybody! Alright, so, a very long time ago, you all had asked me if I could do a photo mosaics puzzle for you guys. And I do have one already, it's a monarch butterfly that I was going to do, but I have done it in the past. And I have to say, as far as these types of puzzles can go, it's fairly simple because there's a decent breakup of colors. But today, I have for you a cute little dolphin made up of like a thousand different photos. So. This guy's going to be pretty difficult because there is very little variation in color. We've got like black, we've got dark blue, blue, white, you know, like that's about as much variation as you're going to get. So for those of you that don't know, the concept of a photo mosaics puzzle is to take thousands and thousands and thousands of different photographs and put them together so that they make a puzzle very much like a mosaic. So once it's assembled, all those thousands of little pictures are going to form one big puzzle, which is the dolphin here. Um, and sometimes, like with in the case of the monarch, that's easier said that that's easier because you get like with my monarch, it's got green, it's got orange, it's got black. So even though it's thousands and thousands of little photographs, which can be very challenging, at least you can sort by color and kind of narrow it down. This one is going to be very challenging because once you've kind of sorted out the darkest darks and the lightest lights, you're left with a lot of stuff in between, and that is a lot of space. And it can be very overwhelming when you're looking at thousands of different wee little pictures trying to form one puzzle. So, for this type of puzzle, get your magnifying glass out, sharpen your eyes, and get ready. Because this one is fun. It's fun, but it's challenging. So, as you can see, um, I'll do. it's probably best if I do it with the close-up cam because it is so many tiny different pictures because you guys are probably seeing a pretty good representation of what the dolphin itself is going to look like, but not necessarily the small images. So, here is the finished product, and the box has given you a good little representation of what it's going to look like doing the actual puzzle. So where you can see that there's lots of different images coming together to make the eye of the dolphin. When you flip it over, it gives you a bit of a better picture of what the full finished product is. Sorry. Sorry for the glare there, guys. So that is what the whole finished puzzle is going to be like. As you can see, there's a decent amount of dark in the fin here. Quite a bit of light up in the corner, which will be nice, but the dolphin itself is a lot of the same color. And then it gives you another breakdown, again, of what you get when you're actually piecing it together. Uh, so this brand... So the brand is Buffalo Games. Traditionally, I don't have a lot of problems with Buffalo. They're pretty good. I do find that sometimes pieces will fit in multiple locations, but usually they do fit very snug, and they are the type of puzzle that fits together well enough that you can pick it up in the end. So, let's crack this bad boy open. Do, 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 do. I really did, you guys. Alright, box comes off, and we have our puzzle in its bag. I can already see all those little photographs. It doesn't look as intimidating now that it's out of the box, to be honest with you guys. Uh, and then it's just got Buffalo's little thank you card in there. And that's it. Nothing else of interest in the box. Plain Jane. They get right to the point. Which I do, it is worth noting, I actually find it really interesting. My monarch... It, it's by Buffalo as well, but it came with a, uh, with a rollout poster, very much like every, pretty much every other puzzle. Um, but it's a little bit more blown up, so you can get a little bit more detail of all the little pictures. I find it very interesting that this one doesn't have it, because both the, there is this little wee picture on the box that shows you the whole thing, but the blown up versions are all cut off. So if you were trying to figure out what little picture goes where, you're going to run into some problems. So I find that interesting. Um, as a puzzler that likes a lot of challenge, that doesn't intimidate me too much, 
but it might be a deterring factor for somebody who's maybe just looking for, to do this to be slightly challenged, but not like impossibly challenged, if that makes any sense. So, I'm going to break into this. I'll show you guys a picture of the pieces close up, and then I'll get right down to it. Ooh, lots of puzzle busts with this one. Like, a lot. Blech. I want to try and throw this bag at him too, but I don't want to lose any pieces that, you know, might sneakily be in here. I don't think there are, but hey, you know, we're, I know some of us more than others are a little more paranoid. All right, so ignoring the fact that there is a lot of puzzle dust, let me pick out some different pieces here for you guys so you can see all the different pity pictures. All righty. So here are some of the pieces up close. I hope the camera's good enough that you guys can capture some of these little tiny photographs. I know they're in pieces, so it's not you won't get the full, full image. The one closest to my thumb here is a fish. And yeah, and then we've got the pile of pieces here. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get sorting. My strategy, as always, is going to be to do the edge first, flip them all over. I think when I sort by color this time, you know, the limited colors that we have, I'm going to try to do the top part of it where it's really white, um, and then probably his little fin where it's pretty much mostly black, and then I guess I'm just left with, what, <laughs> with whatever's going to happen from there, so let's find out. Oh, hey, you know what, guys? Actually, before I get too in-depth into this, I actually think I want to time this one. Uh, just out of curiosity, not trying to beat a time bet or anything like that, I don't think this time around, except for maybe with myself. Um, that into the right mode. Um, how long do I think this is going to take? I think, and this is just a personal kind of bet, um, and I'm kind of, how long do you think, actually? I don't know, it's a lot of mix up pieces that doesn't form any regular pattern so probably closer to three hours three ten see i was kind of thinking the same thing and, and the fact that there's like if it was the monarch i would i would put it at almost regular time just for all the color breakup because i don't remember origin i mean it's it's hard to know now because it's easier the second third fourth fifth time around but um i would say the original time was probably pretty close to my standard time i didn't feel like it really took longer than normal but I, I am really concerned about the amount of blue, and blue's not really a great color for me when doing puzzles. So yeah, I think you're probably right with about three hours or so. So out of curiosity's sake, I, I do want to know how long this is going to take me, and we can tack on like two minutes or so for the little bit of sorting that I've already done. Puzzle dust. I, good lord. I could build a whole new puzzle. I'm gonna 
now I'm green. Hey, there's a border. Yay. Whew. All right, you guys. So I have to say there's worse color breakup than I would have thought. Uh, as you might have seen through it, this is the type of puzzle that you can go for a long time, kind of plop a piece around and not really get anywhere. Um, but when you do start to get somewhere, it kind of just comes just like that. So... I'm going to try my hand at color sorting now. Like I said, I'm going to start with the paler outsides, I think, and the darker fins and such, and see where that takes me. So. <laughs>
harder than you thought. Mm hmm. It's a lot of, a lot, a lot of blue. And the little, um, it's harder than the other one. Like, it was easier to kind of tell what each image was. I think with all the blue, it's just kind of blending together and, uh, like, it's really changing and distorting how the little in individual images look. I mean, it's still fun, but it's definitely, like, woo. <laughs> This is a lot of blue <laughs> in one spot. <laughs> All right, everybody, so it's coming. It is slowly coming. I have most of the bottom fin here completed. I am at a little bit of a standstill at the moment. So I was a bit of a bad egg, and I left the timer going after we finished for the day yesterday. Boo. Um, so I had about, you said it was like two and a half hours. About two, two and a half hours. So 225. Two, two, so maybe round it down to like 210, cutting out all the jibber-jabber and stuff. Sure. So. Probably close to, um, I'm probably at about two hours and 40 minutes now. So I've been going for about half an hour today. Um, it's tough, I gotta tell you. Um, so the dark stood out really well to me. The light is not jumping out at me as much as I would have hoped. So I'm at a little bit of a stumped standstill as to where I go from here. Uh, but I'm still just fiddling with it, plopping around pieces. Every so, every so often, I get one or two in, which is yay! Um, and hopefully, as I go and build the dolphin, like I'm noticing it's more gray almost than blue, which is nice, but also at the same time, there's a lot. Um, so yeah, 
The dark blue at the bottom, which is probably the water and stuff that he's in, that stood out to me pretty well. Eh. <laughs> the rest of it kind of looks the same. So, I'm going to dive back in and I'm going to see where it can go from here. <laughs>
See, I really wish, like, I'm starting to really wish that they had included a little blown up picture like they did with the Monarch, because there's so much of the same shade that with the little pictures, like, when you get stuck, I don't know if it should even go on this half of the puzzle or the other half kind of thing. Like, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. There's nothing... I mean, I, I, I've looked at the box a few times and it's kind of helped, but it's harder to see and there, like, there's no real way to look up something that's really causing you trouble and being like, oh, this weird black patch should actually be on the other half of the puzzle and I'm totally wasting my time. It's hard to get on any kind of a roll when you're sort of just trial and erroring it.
Oh my gosh. I'm gonna survive this puzzle. It's gonna be done. I, I'm gonna do it. There's only a handful left. This is not the kind of puzzle that I would want to have a missing piece to. Oh my god, that would be so disappointing. Oh, it's done! You guys, it's done! Oh my god, holy crap, that was a nearly eight hour puzzle. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! <sighs> Where's the hot beans you lost? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, in the garbage. All of they went all over the floor. Oh my gosh! All right, you guys. So first off, I think I will take you through with the close-up cam and show it to you guys closer up so you guys can see. And then maybe from the overhead camera, I guess, as well, too, because that'll probably give you a really good idea of what it looks like as a solid image. Woo! All right. The end result. It actually looks really nice through that camera. Holy smokes. So as you can see... Look at all those teeny, tiny, little blue pictures. Oh my gosh. Oh, the bottom part was easy, but once I got into the dolphin, holy smokes. Looks like it. Yeah. So for you guys, this probably actually looks like a really nice, clear picture of a dolphin being that high up. Like, I'm sure it just shows off really nicely how all the pictures come together to form the final image, which is awesome. Oh, beautiful. My God, was that a lot of work. Ah, whew. All right, you guys, first things first. Despite the loss of the original time, that was nearly an eight-hour puzzle. Holy smokes. Probably seven and a half, seven forty-five ish, roughly, if I had to take a guess. Oof, that is a lot of time. Um, so a couple things. Initially, I wasn't too disappointed when it didn't come with a poster that would kind of show off the full puzzle as well as like where some of the little images are. As I went on and after I finished the darker blue images, which are way more clear now that uh, it's assembled as a full picture. I was really, really, really disappointed not to have that poster. And I think it really would have helped in this case because specifically there were points where there was a lot of green used to kind of accent the dolphin and you didn't know if it was going over here, if it was going over there, in here. That would have been a nice point where you kind of start to feel really stuck and stumped and like, well, where in the heck does this even go? It would have been nice to have the full-sized image to kind of be able to look at and at least gauge if you're even in the right ballpark for approximately where those tiny images were going to go. I did use the box every so often to try and figure that out, but there's certain parts that are covered, no matter whether you use the front of the back, the box, the back of the box. The back of the box, unless I get a magnifying glass out, it's actually almost too tiny to be of any help to me. And here, um, this top portion here is totally all covered, and uh, yeah. So that was a little disappointing, I have to say. The Monarch that I have was a Buffalo brand as well, so I'm not I'm not sure why this one didn't have a poster. It could have been an error, uh, but if it's something that they've decided not to include with these, I have to say, loses major points. I would really consider reversing that decision if I was Buffalo Games. Um, other than that, really good quality of pieces and all that, no issues there. And, you know, like, the image turns out amazing. Wah, challenging. Now that I'm complaining, that was kind of nice. It did kill my mind and my back to sit here that long and do that, even over the course of two days. But totally worth it. In that sense, it was a 10 out of 10. If you're looking for something that's challenging, yes. Um, the puzzle overall, I have to say, probably brought it down to like a 7 out of 10, not having the poster included in that. And I could see that being a really big bone of contention for people who, one, like to have that to begin with, and two, don't want to do this puzzle for the rest of their lives. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
Other than that, I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked being able to see a photo mosaics puzzle. They're really, really beautiful. They are a lot harder than regular puzzles, though. Please be warned. Um, but I do highly recommend it if it's something that you're looking to take on as a different type of challenge. All right, you guys. That's it for me today. Thank you all for watching, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.